Just tyranny, folks. Shelter. America, see what's happening Putting here. Our heroes up here. Okay, maybe it wasn't tyranny exactly, but Republicans who led the great standoff in the doorway against the state house vax or test mandate say it wasn't just about vaccines or testing. This was a non-elected body who imposed rules on elected members of the legislature. And um, I think that was another big part of our protest. I know it bothered me that non-elected people could dictate policy to the, the, the elected uh, members. The Republicans went to court and were threatening more legal action when that board of non-elected people, otherwise known as the State Capital Joint Management Commission, issued a statement announcing the restriction had been lifted after a quickie meeting last week. The policy approved today reflects the fact that new cases are dropping dramatically and the overwhelming majority of people entering the State House have access to vaccines and boosters, said the statement. The policy shift followed science, says the commission, and comes after Senate Republicans huddled with the Speaker and others from the majority in an effort to work out a compromise. In the Senate, we also made significant noise. We obviously the issue we, we thought it was important that we continue doing our job. Our caucus talked about it. Um, we did a lot of the negotiating to get the you know changes in the policies all along. The commission also left the mask policy in place, which Republicans disagreed with. We would like to see the mask gone you know for the public. Uh, you know, March will start the beginning of year three of this, you know, pandemic. And if people feel more comfortable wearing a mask, uh, if they haven't been vaccinated for whatever reason, um, and they feel more comfortable wearing a mask, if you've been vaccinated and you feel more comfortable wearing a mask, I don't really care if you want to cryovac yourself and shrink wrap yourself. Um, if that's how makes you feel more comfortable, then that, then that's fine. The Assembly rabble-rousers, meanwhile, suggest that the latest policy, which excludes members of the legislature, is as absurd as the old policy. They say they're in a no-justice, no-peace mindset and will do what they need to do to be heard, even if their leadership is inclined towards compromise. I don't feel the warm fuzziness. Look, it, I think we have to understand the position that we're in um, in the state house here. We're in the minority and we're treated as the minority. On occasion, does the majority try to make us feel like less of a burdened minority? The answer is yes, but by and large, they treat us like a minority. A lot of Republican bills never make it to the floor. They don't consult the Republicans for nearly anything. And this Joint Management Commission is another example. Maybe it'll be a moot point come spring and we're on a whole other level with the pandemic, but dramatic demonstrations like this might be part of the GOP playbook going forward. He's touching me! Especially if they think it works. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.